get into it. So first I'm starting off with some liquid latex, putting that on my forehead, and then making my own DIY bald cap. I do have a tutorial on this. I just use plastic wrap, wrap it around my head, and then I use liquid latex to lay down the edges. Next I'm using a silicone mix. This is a really, really cool product. You mix A and B together, and then you get this gel-like product, which you can place anywhere. It looks a little bit crazy in the beginning. But you can just take a Q-tip with some 99% alcohol and smooth everything out, and it turns out pretty cool in the end. I just kept going with that and built a larger nose. Next, I'm going in with a red cream paint and a sponge and just applying that all over my face and the bald cap. Then I'm taking a flat detailed brush with some gray and black eyeshadow, and I'm just making some wrinkles underneath the eyes, around the eyebrows, and the nose. Then I'm taking some red eyeshadow and just putting that all over to set it. Next, I'm going in with black water activated paint and we're going to be using majority of black. So really this whole look consists of red and black. So for this, I'm using some smaller detail brushes and some flat brushes, making some larger shapes, connecting everything together, trying my best to make it similar on each side. And I'm always just looking at a reference photo. The best way to describe this is almost felt like I was looking at like a map or a globe and I could see all the countries together. That's what all these little shapes remind me of. So it's really important to have a nice small detail brush so you can get some really nice line work on some of these bigger shapes there are really small details of little lines coming off so just take your time with it so the shapes can look nice and clean then I'm going in with a yellow water activated paint and I'm gonna add some highlight above the eyebrows and the nose the best way to highlight red is yellow for the hair I just cut up some pieces from a black wig and use liquid latex to put that on the side of my head and then just use some scissors to shape it up for the teeth I have these really cool teeth from dental distortion I'm just adding those in and then I'm using some some mouth dye in black and I'm just coating that all over the teeth with a q-tip and I'm putting it on my tongue as well. For the hand I placed on a black glove and then I made these pointy little fingernails with just some pieces of plastic that I painted with acrylic paint and that is it. That is my version of the lipstick demon from Insidious. I think it looks super cool and super creepy. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!